Good morning everyone. Well, I uh, got the keys yet. I uh, spoke too soon about the uh, lack of storm damage. Uh, we've got another storm here, loads more rain and uh, sorry about the wind. Uh, but we got a problem. So uh, we're in a bit of emergency mode to sort that problem out. I'll show you what it is. Ooh, look. Another little sneak peek going on here. Oh, what's that? Oh, exciting. Right. Here is the problem. That wall has suddenly become very, very wet. This is all very, very damp. There's water get down there. So it means I need to dig out all behind that wall. So, I've rented that. Now the weather's too bad today to dig that out. It's meant to get better tomorrow. So, uh, so I'm gonna put in some cabling today. Um, so while I've got this digger, I'm gonna put in all my cables and stuff for the workshop and the wind turbine. And I'm gonna dig out that back wall. Uh, right, let's get to it. Right, got all my services. I've got two uh, water pipes for conduits, one water pipe for water pipe, and the armored cable. So I can run my data and everything through the cable. In the area where it's shallow, <clears throat> I've protected it with, um, with some old uh, land drain stuff. And that goes all the way down there, all protected, other than the armored, up to the shed. All right, let's fill it in. So uh, this is gonna end up having 100 mil of stone over it as well, so it's uh, considerably deeper than it looks once it's uh, got the stone over it. Right, let's get this filled in. Bumpy ride, I'm afraid. I need to get a little area done so I can get the digger out and then go to the side. Right, end of the day, got me uh, cables run, it's a mess, but I have made a little tidy area with a little bit of stone. So, gonna get some more stone, get this area at least sorted out. Um, there's the cables going in the wall, I'll probably build a little box around them at some point, but I got two conduits, a water pipe and armoured cable. So tomorrow we shall uh, get a bit more stone, 
sort this whole area out and uh, dig out that problem area and the back morning everyone this is nice we've got a little bit better weather so I'm going to uh, have an attempt at digging out this problem area where this wall's got wet um, probably should have just had it dug out before the only reason it isn't dug out that bit is just because when we dug out the rest of the building it was just uh, we were just swimming in earth couldn't get rid of it so I just left it thought oh, it looked cool anyway but um, just the way the land is somehow that water's getting there I think it's trickling down the back of the stairs and then getting to here it's no good we dig it out um, gonna do it slowly methodically with the digger every time I drive a digger people tell me what I'm doing wrong um, I know I'm facing the wrong way but I want to be able to track back and forwards to get to the different areas without tearing the ground up so I'm just gonna do it slowly that way around and then dump all the fill that we get out on this pile here for earth bags later uh nicer weather today so i can do a bit more filming right let's start start digging I don't claim to be a good excavator operator. I get by, but there'll be people telling me how much I'm doing wrong. You should do this, you should do that. To be honest with you, I really don't enjoy driving excavators. The concentration involved is just too much for me. I, I haven't got a very good attention span. And uh, I do, I'm, I'm all right for the first couple of hours, but then I just start to uh, start to lose focus. Yeah, it does exactly what I want in the first few hours, but later on in the day, it starts getting a mind of its own. found the problem yeah the, uh, the liner was just not in very well in here and this is where all the damp is in this corner down here so we just dig it out and uh, sort out that area we're gonna have to put in a little retaining wall here now and slope the land away from this area and so on 
but we found the problem so I just need to keep digging out get down to the right levels sort out the damp problem plaster this um, it's actually going to be better for it because uh, because we you know we've got more wall that's able to breathe so I'm pleased it's coming along well I'm feeling good in the digger yeah he's doing what I want it to do which is nice so we just uh, just carry on Puskat just inspecting. Yesterday I uh, trenched in the cable for the wind turbine, which is going to go on the mast there. So that's run as well now. Just did it quickly yesterday afternoon. Uh, just shallow trenched, uh, three core armoured 10 mil cable. So that should be good for that. This area here that I've dug out, if this was springtime, we'd be fine because it could. Uh, you know, it'll grass over a little bit and stabilise itself. But uh, it isn't springtime. And if it chucks it down, this will all erode into the bit I've dug out. So I'm going to try and stabilise it a bit from eroding with a hessian. Hessian and rocks and things. And then come springtime something will grow all through that and it being a natural product it's fine we can just leave it there and hopefully it will eventually grass over and, and be stable and I won't have to put in a retaining wall Right, so that's a nice job done. I know it doesn't look like much, but that is going to stop that if it chucks it down, all that mud just sliding down because the rain has to uh, hit all that stuff first, get slowed down, spread out, and then the matting should retain it. So the water that actually ends up down in this ditch here should end up being not muddy, slippery water with the bank sliding down. And uh, eventually that will rot down and won't look such a mess. And also because it's like a it's a it's a fixture point now all the leaves and stuff that blow off throughout the seasons can can form and land in there and eventually things will just grow in there we'll get grasses and stuff coming up through and it will stabilize that bank and we won't have to build a retaining wall that's the plan anyway right next job Late, but I thought I might put a couple of hours in.
Right, final day of doing the groundworks with the digger and saving that um, sidewall. The banks worked well, didn't slip down, it rained all night, chucked it down, as you can see, water everywhere. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to use the digger now to um, put that stone in a wheelbarrow, wheelbarrow it under here, spread it all out under here, and uh, we'll be pretty much there. Very pleased, it's not been that fun, but uh, good job's done. Alright, let's get to work. Oh wow, this is so nice. You cannot understand how nice this is for this to be fit. Well, it's, you know, it's going to compact down, but it's level and it's not muddy. It just looks so nice. I'm so pleased. 350 quid for the stone, 16 ton of it, which is worth every penny. Worth every penny. So, uh, I'm done in here, it just all needs to compact. Um, I'm just going to put the last of it, I've probably got about a ton and a bit. I think I'm just going to walk down the path towards the house and, uh, and get a bit on there. going to try and spread that out. We will go over. And we're done. How nice does that look? Much better. So come springtime now, it's going to get torn up a little bit. I'm just going to try and just because I've got to come across here to get to this earth with the tractor. So I'll just uh, try and only tear up one little patch of it, just repair that bit. But yeah, so pleased. I've got all my cables in, pipe, water pipes and uh, wind turbine cable, wind turbine video shall be coming in uh, probably a week's time or so, something like that, still working on it. But yeah, very pleased, very good, good work done. And it all stemmed from a bit of an emergency with that back wall. Throughout the uh, time I've been doing YouTube, a lot of people ask me, well, a lot of the comments have always been, um, uh, what if this happens and what if that happens and uh, this is an example of that and the answer is just I'll fix it there's no other choice you, uh, you know I'm not going to just knock the place down or anything like that so if water gets in somewhere I'll fix it if something happens I'll fix it um, uh, and that's an example of what we've done here and I'm quite proud of that we've got a problem the next day I had a digger here and now it's fixed and look at that beautiful Okay, so that's going to be the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. I was just out here trying to get a good uh, thumbnail for my video. And I haven't seen this view for a while because it's just uh, just been stuff in the way. And I just thought I'd show those lines. Because how nice is that? Just beautiful lines. I suppose you could call it bragging really, but... I just thought it's quite hard when I'm always trying to get a story across in the video and always moving, something's always going on and I don't often just you know, show close-ups of stuff, so yeah get an idea of what it looks like under here a bit better which 
really quite special. We look this way. 